Welcome back, I am Abdullah Reda Said, a third year medical student in the University of Medicine and Pharmacy of Carol Davila in Bucharest, Romania. And in that video, I'm gonna talk to you about the conferences, the workshops, and the events that I participated in throughout last year, the second year. So we'll start in October 2014. There was a conference in the University of Carol Davila. Uh, the Conference of the National Neuroscience Society in Romania, which is called SNN 2014. And uh, there I had a poster with the title, A Comparison Between Herbal Extracts of Traditional Plants Used in the Treatment of Alzheimer's Disease. And by that poster presentation, I won the third prize in the poster competition. Himself, everything, no, no collaborators, no, his idea, his, uh, no professor, uh, have an effect in attenuating the oxidative stress for the moment in uh, Alzheimer's disease uh, kind of pathologies. Later on, in November 2014, there was a medical students conference in Craiova, Romania, called CIMSC. And there, I had an oral presentation with the title The Effect of Cerebral Ischemia on Cognitive Impairment in Rats, Literature Review. These formations will lead to a new generation that starts from the hippocampus and spreads all over the whole brain. And you can see that um, the combination of these two procedures actually marked an impairment of spatial memory in the male western rats. Next, in December 2014, I participated in the organization of an event by SOMS, which is the medical students organization in the University of Carol de Villa. And uh, the event was called Basic Research Skills. And later on, in the same month, in December, my name was put on the website of the Coma EG project that I joined initially in the first year. And you can click on the link in the description in order to see my bibliography. Then, following up, in 2015, in March, I participated in SSCR's Nuts and Sutures workshop for the English module, the 6th edition. Also, in the same month of March, there is the event of the Brain Awareness Week and in our faculty we also have uh, uh, an event in that time period in order to raise the awareness about the brain in neuroscience and so on. And the theme for that year was uh, the brain and light. So, uh, my presentation was called Alzheimer's and Glaucoma, Similarities, Mechanisms, and management and by that presentation I won the second prize in the presentation competition. Matter of fact, we have glaucoma and I included glaucoma in the title of the presentation. So why did I choose glaucoma specifically? And the link between Alzheimer's and glaucoma is very very uh, important. So After that, in April 2015, there was another Nuts and Sutures workshop the 7th edition, which I actually coordinated with SSCR. And later on in April uh, 2015, uh, there was the uh, Medical Students Conference of Turg Moris uh, in Romania. Uh, the conference was called Marisiensis. And there I had a presentation called CSF Biomarkers and Alzheimer's Disease Early Detection, a comparative study. Along with the phosphorylated tau or the um, normal tau uh, ratios. Practically see the amount of Then afterwards, in May 2015, there was another medical students conference in Sibio, Romania, which was called Asclepius, and there I had uh, another oral presentation called the relation between the hippocampus and the amygdala and its effect on the formation of emotional memory and memory consolidation, literature review. As I uh, read, wrote there, the recent studies reported that there is a linear effect. So even with a false memory, this kind of integration between the two structures was induced. Then towards the end of May 2015, there was the event of the, the SSCR gala, 
and there I had a poster presentation called Different Factors Affecting the Formation of Emotional Memory and Memory Consolidation Literature Review. And by that poster presentation, I won the best songs poster. You see, the brain structure of the amygdala and the hippocampus in the human brain are very closely related to each other. Well, the region in our brain. So this sums it up for the events that I was part of in the second year and I'm still doing the um, video tutorials that I'm doing. For the medical school tutorials you should click on that link med for free and for the high school tutorials you should click on the other link edu for free. Again I thank you for watching and see you next time.